Hi everyone and welcome to today's bonus hunt. We've got nine games here in total. Ran really well at times and at other times hit complete brick walls. Um, Wildflower and Fire in the Hole were both really, really expensive and without a bonus, in particular Wildflower, I just convinced myself that it was going to land or at least land the normal feature if not the enhanced one and lost count of the number of teases but no it was uh, no goer sadly and far in the hole normally that churns really well but today it was quite aggressive and that 88 was lost in quite quick time really but uh, there we go we've got nine in total hopefully we can get uh, something reasonable off a few of them i'm going to start it off with royal mint Right, so as you can see here, I'm quite close to completing the Heartstopper, well even closer than I was last time I played it. So uh, it's glad to get another bonus along the way, so hopefully it won't be too long before we get the Heartstopper. It'll probably be in a video fairly soon. For our free spins, here we go. That's good, hit one of the few out shots. And nothing there. Plenty of greens going on now. Ah, but no connector, sadly. And another dead spin there. Well, there we go. We've got tens and greens shall follow. get a queen on the first it would be useful. Yeah we've unlocked the uh, the blue blocks there but uh, never mind. Right a uh, possible re-trigger down the bottom here. Very rare on this game though. Even though you get two chances at it, it seems harder to get on this than uh, almost any other Mega Waves, really. Oh, I missed out there. There was good, uh, good winds there lurking as well. Oh, just got over the line. Need some... I've got the nine, I suppose. Oh, the block, though, here, aren't we? Need ten on the first. No, it always seemed like it was squashed into a corner there. Couldn't really open up the grid at all. The uh, greens were a blocker, really. So a bit of a disappointing start there, especially as this uh, on ATP, this one. So just 26.64. Next up, Rock Vegas, Mega Hold and Spin. Still trying to repeat my heroics of the first occasion I played this game where I qualified for the mystery multiplier I think it was mandatory and never had it since and no keys there whatsoever so there's loads of keys there though, a whole host of them so how many was that in total? Wow that was a great round Hopefully it won't now dry up. If we complete the grid, we might have a chance at this. Yeah, no more keys, but at least uh, they landed. Landed a few more rocks. And there's another key. Come on, add four. Plus one re-trigger, okay. Interesting, never seen that before. Need to complete the grid here, really. And there we go, another keys landed, excellent. So three to get. And that's a rock, rocks landed there, good. Oh, I missed out there. I don't know whether you re-trigger it if it starts the whole thing again. 
Anyway, we only need two more now to complete the grid. And there's one of them landed, so just one to go. And it's landed, right, okay. Wow, it's pretty good already, isn't it, really? Right, so three keys needed. Oh, there's one. And a couple of small bits landed there. And there's another key, so we need one more. Or is that it? That might be it. Yeah, it is. We've unlocked the mystery multiplier. So, very exciting times here now. And we got one re-trigger as well. So, this is fantastic stuff. And it's landed a blue rock there. What's going on here, though? I don't quite know what happened there. Why it uh, why paused that? Anyway, now the keys come to town. And we landed uh, one of the rocks there. Need to land one on this go. Now that looks like a wipeout there. Anyway, what happens with this re-trigger now? Right, so it's adding all them up, plus we get the times three on the uh, multiplier, and we're still going. Right, okay. That really is a genuine re-trigger rather than just a uh, one spin and you're out, maybe. But um, hopefully, we can pick up a few more multipliers here. Wow, 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 it's gone mad. Goodness me. A whole load of stuff happening there. Good grief, what a round that was. Ah, I need to land something on this go, though. Not looking promising, I think that's your lot. But it's got to add all this up and it will times it by three, so it's an absolutely brilliant bonus. Nonetheless, what a cracker. <laughs> That's, uh, I said at the start of this, I had one good bonus when it very first came out this game and nothing since. And it's finally repaid with uh, another absolute stonker there. I kept looking at the multiplier, hoping that would go, uh, go up along the way, but uh, that's absolutely fantastic stuff. Uh, it's counting this up really slowly, we know what it is, so let's, uh, there we go, £300.42, fine stuff, well done that uh, caveman. Alright, that was absolutely brilliant, I need a swig of sherry after, uh, after that, so it must have gone on for about 15 minutes. Right, press for luck. Right, well that was fantastic fun. Um, on to Honey 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 now. Well, as we're on a bit of a roll, let's go on the um, Volatile Start. <laughs> volatile Start? I'm uh, sure you must be strong. Volatile Side and let's press Start. Here we go. Oh, there was a few good symbols lurking, but it's missed them. Missed them all. Yeah, that's no good either. All about landing the uh, large stack of wilds, really. Oh, just, yeah, yeah not quite uh, happening, this one. Oh dear, oh dear, that was dismal. After all the fun 
of the previous one. It brought back down to earth with a bump, four pounds and two pence. Might as well just round it down. Next up today, chilly heat. Landed three of the Captain Sunshine symbols there, so and this was marvellous in running. It just kept giving the coin feature there. It was absolutely brilliant. Must have had it about five or six times, and yeah, just brilliant churn. So even if this only gives four pounds and two pence like the last one, it uh, can't be moaning. So it's come to be ahead on this game. Can be tough actually getting the the coins during the the feature here, but let's see. Well, I've hit some of the chilly heat symbols there, so what if that amount to? Oh, I'm not an awful lot, to be honest. Oh, some dogs have turned up. Dog for napkin. Yeah, it's a funny game, this one. It always seems to play better in running than um, than you get on the bonus. I have to uh, consider this when I get round to doing a live stream at some point. So, very bland stuff there. Two real stinkers, to be honest. Um, they're £7.40 on this one. Couldn't quite make it onto the coin stack. Next up today, Ted Megaways. Right, finally it's loaded. It's good, eh? Your magic always works! So, let's see what we can get here. It'd be nice to get to the... Because how can you have any buttons? Ted Free Spins, really, me? wouldn't it? You know, somewhere out there... I suppose S mark can be bad. Can be good, I mean. Oh, yeah! Alright, oh, we can't yeah. do that. Um, try and get to S mark. Oh, dear. Problems, Bonus hunt's falling a bit flat, to be honest. Yes, quite so. <laughs> get that in the afternoon, would you? Well, there we go, all the fours. Let's have one more press. On to Curse of the Werewolf. Right, I've got to convert some villagers to werewolves. And there's a couple of golden ones out. It's only the golden wolf that uh, actually converts them over. Try not to get a wolf on the fourth reel, that. There we go, that uh, eliminates that fellow anyway. seems to normally give you one extra spin, even though it's uh, plural rather than singular, but I've never seen it give more than uh, one spin at a time here, so it must be a, a linguistic error there. Right, anyway, that's uh, a slightly better round, a few more wolves uh, lurking there. Up to 11.58. Right, that's another chap uh, that's converted over to a wolf. I'm all there, but uh, we need to start seeing some characters all the way over now, really. Ah, uh, missed out on the fourth reel. That would have been a cracking win if we'd landed that. Yeah, that would have been an enormous win. Especially with the wild on the last reel. Yeah, that, that's a shocker, that one. Just one strike, but not enough, alas. So just 16.50. Goodness me, it uh, really is a one bonus wonder, this, uh, this bonus hunch, that's for sure. 
pretty stupid. <laughs> it's all gone a bit flat, to be perfectly honest. Right, colossal cash zone now. So six free spins. All about getting the high multiplier up top there, and then uh, converting it. But uh, one does seem to be mandatory most of the time. So two lots at uh, times ten, but it doesn't uh, doesn't go up to times fifty, does it? I suppose it's a giveaway, isn't it, on the left, as to what multiplier you're getting. Big win! That's what we like to see. Only twelve pounds there. Well, it's quite a few sevens there. That could be a genuine. Well, we get a sensational here. That's a bit more like it. Times three on uh, a full line of sevens there. So that's actually the second good bonus I've had in a, a row on uh, this game. Or it might be two out of three that have been good. So. Don't grumble at that. It's adding it up incredibly slowly though, so we'll, we'll fast forward this if it doesn't stop at 30. And it hasn't, that's good. Right, what do you reckon then? 52. 47, not a bad guess. So, a cracking final round there and uh, a decent bonus. Uh, the Rock Vegas one seems a lifetime ago, but that's. That's a bit more, a lot more like it uh, there. So, a good one there on colossal cash zone. Right, next up today it's Buffalo Blitz. New game not played before. Interesting lineups there. Um, tempted between 9 times 10 or the mystery. I think I'll go for the mystery option today there. Spins obviously make quite a bit of difference by the looks of this. Got to uh, pick them, so let's pick the lowest, shall we? Normally happens. Nine, yeah, that was the lowest. Good three. And times six. Okay, well, not the best setup in the world there, but who knows? Let's see what we can land. Uh, nothing much so far. A grumpy looking bear there, but nothing with it. So, not hitting much at the moment here. Right, well, there's a the multiplier. And just times four on the skunks. Ah, chance for re trigger here. Oh, I've landed it. So how many do we get here, then? Three extras. Okay, not the most generous in the world, but... Uh, it's all about getting that one good line, isn't it, on this? Yeah, not having much luck on this particular game today. So maybe the setup, you've got to get the higher multiplier there. So... Yeah, can't say I'm overly infused by that bonus, but it, uh, but there we go. Oh, Buffalo's there. So £2.40, that's more than the bonus paid, really. But uh, they're not the finest, but uh, there we go. Maybe one for another day, possibly. Little Devil Heartstopper now. And somebody said recently in the comments, pick the right hand side on the heart stopper. So although I've had this, you know, a few times in the previous, I've always gone left. So let's do this and go the right hand side, Dynamite Lover. Here we go. Oh, if we'd landed the uh, double, oh, that's £48 straight up. If it had landed the second wild in the middle, zone there though that could have been absolutely colossal because the purple hearts went all the way over there good grief well thanks already for the suggestion i think last time i took the left hand side it was about 20 pounds total bonus and each time you land a wild in this they add up whereas in the um 
Here we go, it's double there, and we've got the Crocs. Crocs Ahoy 3840. Marvellous stuff. There's me waffling away, and uh, we've almost missed out on a good uh, good win there. So another cracking round there. And still got nine left. Well, this is marvellous fun. Ah, just the one wild, but uh, we'll get to 640 for the Crocs. Needed the blue bottle on the second reel there. That would have probably been a reasonable win on its own there. Dodd round there, though. Two wilds. They're not connected. I don't believe it. Ah, what a shame they didn't connect up. Uh, running out of spins a bit here. Retrigger chance. Well, another retrigger chance. Come on, let's see this. No, sadly not. And another dead spin. What a shame. This started off brilliantly. Oh dear, okay, well, it's just tailing off now. Last go. Oh, what a letdown. That was such a good start there. Really had my hopes up for a colossal bonus there. But there we go. I can't grumble too much. 96.48 it is. And that's the heart stopper done. So whether it would have made a difference if I'd gone on the left-hand side, I don't know. I had a couple of poor heart stopper ones on the left. So I guess I should be grateful for that. It's just the way in which he gave such brilliant wins at the start there really had high hopes that uh, might get an absolutely colossal win off that but there we go closing balance 934 so i've profited on the bonus hunt there and uh, yeah the, the few <laughs> really good ones i mean the rock vegas one was an absolute stonker and that uh, colossal cash zone was pretty good as well so yeah, a good uh, bunch all in all, but just some bonuses really, really terrible in amongst them there. And that uh, that last game I played before this, I uh, can't remember the name of it, uh, they had some animals in and whatnot uh, there. That, uh, that just seems awful. So, yeah, I won't be rushing back to that one again. But stay tuned, because next time around I probably will have the heart stopper on the Royal Mint game amongst... Uh, amongst others so hope you enjoyed that one i'm off for a uh, for a swig or two of sherry it's uh, not quite a champagne bonus hunt but it was uh, certainly very very close there all the best bye for now